Okay, let's try to draw the MO diagram for beryllium, uh, BEH2. So two hydrogens on that beryllium. So we've got beryllium, if you look up here on the table, it's uh, 2S2. So let's just put beryllium here, uh, 2S2. P, it's a 2s2, so we've got an s orbital, so I'll draw it over here, s orbital, and then 3p orbitals. Okay, there's the s orbital, 3p orbitals. The hydrogens, uh, there's two of them, they're over here on this side, um, and they're on either side of the beryllium, so you're thinking. like that. And so the, I'm drawing, there's two hydrogens, so I'm do, drawing two 1s orbitals. They both have one electron. And they look either the two hydrogens would be the same phase or they'd be opposite phase. They're not bonding or antibonding necessarily because they're not connected yet. We're going to put the beryllium right in the middle of those two. Okay, well the lowest energy, if you take this one, put it between those two, that'd be the lowest possible energy to think of. So the beryllium in the middle, and the two hydrogens on either side. This would be called uh, a sigma sub g, or Gironde. So our sigma g. Um, then, uh, the antibonding of that would be up here. Oh, uh, energy level. Where the beryllium's out of phase with the hydrogens. Okay? So that's a sigma G star. Now, the other one that could possibly fit in the other, these two is probably this one because it's also on the same axis. So let's try that. And if you draw that P orbital, you're saying, well, the only hydrogens that would fit well are these two, where a hydrogen there and a hydrogen there. Again, a bonding orbital, um, slightly higher energy. We call that a sigma U. We draw these lines, by the way. Okay, so it'd be that one. Notice there's one node, so I'm going to draw it at higher energy than this one. Well, we have its antibonding. Which should be this, the sigma u star. And you'll notice, oh, it might be one. why the heck did I draw it so high energy? Well, this is going to have three nodes, one, two, three. So it's going to be, you, you put the energy according to the nodes if you know nothing else. Now, if you're paying attention, uh, there's two p orbitals I didn't get to use. So I'm going to draw those in the middle. That's actually uh, these two, yeah, that are orthogonal to the H's. And so they're going to come out non-bonding. They're not really going to act, interact. So I'm going to draw two lines, and that's for... This one, and for this one. All right, now let's uh, fill in the electrons. There's four electrons, so I'm going to fill in all four of those electrons. One, two, three, four. And there's uh, beryllium H2.